We are traveling to Europe. First stop, we are going to Amsterdam. We've been planning this trip for a while now. Not the itinerary, but more so of what we need to bring and how we are going to travel with our first baby. We had a lot of snafus before departure and another on the plane. I requested the bassinet seat, but so did the couple next to us. Thankfully, they were so sweet and let us use the bassinet since their daughter was already one years old and very, very tall. The airplane food was surprisingly really good. This was barbecue chicken and mac and cheese. After 11 hours, we finally landed and our family trip can begin. So you know how we never usually check in luggage? Well, we did this time. We waited a long time and learned our stroller and baby seat didn't make it to Amsterdam. They got separated and one didn't even leave San Francisco. How does that even happen? Hopefully, they arrive safely tomorrow. After an 11 hour flight, we need to take the train and then the tram to reach our hotel. I was too tired to film our room, but we stayed at the Citadines near the canals. It was small but cozy. The bed and pillows were pretty comfy too. This is my first time in Amsterdam. Amsterdam is Paul's favorite European city and I can see why. It's so lively and colorful here. Everything is so picturesque. I had to restrain myself from stopping every second to take a picture. We randomly found this restaurant called Cafe Pico on our walk. It looked pretty popular and there wasn't a wait. Time to settle in at our table and enjoy a meal. The bread was amazing, one of the best we've ever had. We also had delicious pumpkin pizza. It had sweet gorgonzola, ventricina, and basil. We had a pasta dish as well. Dinner was so delicious, I think we will probably come back one more time before we leave Amsterdam. Up in the pit. Hop up in the pit. So we are in the pit. Such a beautiful neighborhood, only made even more beautiful with the sunset. It's only been a day, but I can already imagine Amsterdam as a place I could raise a family. Any place where I never get tired of walking and has good food is a place I want to be. The next morning, we were planning to eat breakfast at Baker's and Roasters, but our baby was still sleeping and we wanted him to rest. So Paul brought back some cakes to eat in the room. We had banana bread, carrot cake, and a peanut butter cake. All of them were so good. They were very moist, not too sweet, and were tasty. We are off to our reservation at a restaurant called De Cas. My friend didn't get the chance to go when she visited, so she told me to go try it for her. Luckily, I was able to snag a reservation. The restaurant is located in one of the parks. It was nice walking through the trees. Nearby, we saw the biggest bird nest I've ever seen. We actually got to see them gathering twigs to build their nest and we saw their babies too. Here's the restaurant. I love all the greenery. In their gardens, they grow around 300 varieties of vegetables, herbs, and fruits that they use in their dishes. We got to look in their greenhouse before seating. I dream of one day having a little garden where I can use the fruits of my labor in the dishes I cook. Before the restaurant de Cas came to be, this building was solely a nursery for several parks. It supplied them with trees, grasses, and exotic plants. The greenhouse was almost demolished, but in 2000, the nursery found a new purpose and was converted into this restaurant. Now we get to dine in a lovely greenhouse.
The courses were heavy in veggies and greens, just the way I like it. All of the presentation was so beautiful. But our favorite dish of the day were the clams. According to Paul, the coffee was pretty tasty at our hotel. I enjoyed hot chocolate on this machine almost every day. The flower market is closed today, but love the juxtaposition between the graffiti and the buildings behind. My friend recommended this Indonesian cuisine diner called Semperna. We got the sampler dishes so we could try a little bit of everything. Our baby was having a meltdown, so I was quickly eating while Paul was soothing him far away from the restaurant. We ended up taking most of the food to go. Bought random tasty Stroop waffles to snack on while wandering. Stroop waffles are a well-known Dutch treat and is very popular in the Netherlands. It is made of a thin waffle and is held together by a syrup filling. There are several reasons why Amsterdam is Paul's favorite European city. There's amazing nightlife, great food, lots of friendly people with diverse cultural background. He said it was so easy to strike up a conversation with anybody. And he loved walking through all the canals and looking at all the beautiful architecture. But this trip will be a little bit different as we won't be able to go out at night since we have our baby but we'll get to experience everything the daytime has to offer. We made it this time to dine in at Bakers and Roasters. I've learned that you have a good chance of not waiting in line for restaurants in Amsterdam if you arrive before 9.30. In the Bay Area, you'd have to line up before opening for most popular places. Love my green juices! Food was delicious, especially their chorizo. The tomato jam was bomb too. Decided to wander around today. I love how it's not too crowded, but it's so lively. I enjoy seeing people just living their lives. So much beautiful architecture everywhere. I was noticing these vibrantly decorated bikes around the city. I learned that they were created by a man named Warren, known as the Bicycle Man, about 20 years ago. His wife had severe epilepsy and often forgot where she parked her bike. So he decorated her bike so she could find it more easily. And then he started decorating abandoned bikes so she could easily find her way back home as well. So sweet and romantic. Ending the vlog here with one of my current favorite characters, Miffy. We learned that Miffy was created by a father for his daughter. So glad that Paul and I are making memories with our son. Although he will not remember the details, we hope he will remember the happy feelings we had spending time together. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.